After ACS, optimal medical therapy requires some risk stratification so that you know just exactly what amounts to optimal medical therapy. We're talking about risk stratification, and I'm with Keith Fox, who happens to be professor of cardiology at the University of Edinburgh, and we're talking about GRACE and GRACE 2.0. What are you presenting here? Right. GRACE 2.0 is really a smart, updated version of the original risk score. In each of our guidelines, the, the American uh, college guidelines, our European guidelines, we recommend that clinicians should use a form of risk score, particularly for the intermediate risk patients, the non-ST elevation MI patients, right. because many of these are higher risk than the clinician imagines. The trouble is, the old risk scores were a bit clumbersome. They weren't easy to use. You had to add up numbers or look up tables and so on. So what we've done that's different is to take 32,000 people to derive a new version using nonlinear algorithms that fit better than the old. And then we put those smart algorithms into an electronic device like a mobile phone, any form of smartphone, Android or iOS, a tablet or a web version so that the first responder, whether that's a, a, a doctor or a paramedic, can do that evaluation, and they can do it within seconds. And this will help to guide the distribution and management of the patient. So what's different is that this score, it's electronic, it's handheld, it's very fast, it's more accurate than the original, and we validated it externally in the French Fast MI 2005 cohort, and we've tested it over three years. So it's accurate with C statistics of about 0.82 to 0.83, not just early, but at one year and three years. And then we've tested an even smarter version, which says, you know, here's the patient, but we don't have the creatinine. We don't have the Killip score. So we've got simple substitutions about history of renal dysfunction, about use of diuretics, and that performs almost as well and can stratify the patients into those that need acute treatment, for example, early intervention, those where it may be reasonable to wait a bit. How many variables go into the GRACE score? The original derivation uh, looked at more than 40 variables that were uh, univariate predictors. And then we said, well, that wouldn't be very easy to use. So let's look at the multivariate, the independent predictors, and take eight or nine that conveyed 90% of the power to make it user-friendly. So we used just eight or nine key predictors. And it's very interesting, for example, that ST deviation, whether it's up or down, has the same risk prediction. Not something many people would have thought at the beginning. So in the GRACE score, when you're doing the, the math and plugging in the numbers, how long does it actually take? Um, from the time you've got it open there in front of you, it takes about 30 seconds. And at 30 seconds, you've no, we've now got not just a score number, but a numerical value for the percentage risk of death in hospital, one year, three years. And then you go to the histogram, and the histogram shows where your patient is compared to the whole distribution plot. Oh, wow. In green, if it's good, in yellow or red, it's easy. So it's pretty easy to see where the patient lies in terms exactly. of risk. And, and the whole idea is, is this is a tool, if it's to be any use, are we making it freely available without cost? <laughs> so we have nothing to gain financially from it. Uh, so that it's, it's something that people will use uh, to improve quality of care. And it's validated out to three years. It's validated out to three years. We validated it independently before, and we validated it independently now. Do you agree with my opening in that risk stratification is important? Yes, I do. All of our guidelines say it's important. But then you ask, are people doing it? No. And why are they not? Because they aren't user-friendly enough. So this finally, the GRACE 2.0 is, is definitely user-friendly? It's definitely user-friendly. You use it in your office? Yes, we do. And in fact, we've been using it in the front door. And it doesn't need me. It's actually the nurse co uh, a practitioner who does it on arrival. So that's in the patient's uh, notes from arrival. So when you walk in, you've already got that? You've got it. You've got it. Wow. And uh, perhaps the most useful is where a patient's presented to a smaller community hospital. 
And then the clinician's weighing up, you know, should I transfer this patient or not? And here's a tool that helps them to say, actually, yes, there's something that needs to be done early in, the, in this patient because of the risk. Professor Fox, if someone wants to find out more about the GRACE and GRACE 2.0 mm -hmm. risk stratification, what do they do? They simply go to the website. So we can go to the original website where we had the GRACE program of 102,000 patients, um, and that's www.outcomes.org forward slash GRACE. Or we've got a, our own one from the University of Edinburgh, which is a bit uh, shorter, just gracescore.co.uk. Wow. That'll get you there. And congratulations, because it sounds like this could be really helpful. We hope it is. You know, uh, our only motivation behind this is to have a tool that aids the clinician. It's not in place of clinical judgment, but it aids the clinician if their patient is, if there's uncertainty whether they're in the intermediate group or not. And that's always a tough call when you're, uh, when you're a physician and you're looking for a patient, particularly after an event. And for Cardiosource World News, Professor Fox, I'm Rick McGuire.